So Bud Light, ladies and gentlemen, has a new advertising campaign for the summertime, okay? So during spring, they were the gay drink, and everyone's like, it's so over for Bud Light. Well, let's see how Bud Light is uh, recovering their brand. Let let's check it out. We bring you in the studio this morning, one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr.? Pepe Julian Onzima, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Good morning. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. Why, 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 why shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender and you are a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? Now, we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend. Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are By you doing this lady? By choice. By choice. I've just, you know, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? So chat, what, what do we, how do we feel about this? How do we feel about this? Obviously, I don't forgive Bud Light whatsoever, but I'll go further than that. This ad actually did a very poor job of trying to recover their image, because if their whole thing is, oh, you're, they're not the masculine drink anymore, everyone jokes, it's the gay drink, it's the woman drink, whatever, and if their primary audience, right, is like straight men, right, you understand this, uh, all I saw on that video actually are a bunch of men being emasculated, so, I mean, I mean, notice this, let's go through this frame by frame, so... This guy, he's hot. He's like, oh, it's so hot. Okay, he's cooling with Bud Light. Okay, fine. Um, but then like this, it just looks, you know, here's a guy just looking stupid, right? A guy looking stupid. Oh, wow, look at these females. They're carrying the keg. Very empowering, guys. Feminism, girl boss. Now they're carrying the Bud Light uh, keg. So, you know, very empowering stuff there. Okay, they got the... You got, I guess you got the woman sunbathing and barely wearing anything. So that, that does work, technically. Uh, for the Bud Light demographic thing. But, uh, okay, here's this guy. Here's a guy falling off the board. Ha ha ha, so funny. Here's a dude screwing up again, dropping all the food. And then just a woman on the screen, I don't know. And then look, look at this, look at this. It's notice this, okay? You, you guys got to start paying attention to this when you watch advertising because actually, though, it's not just but this commercial. Very often, you'll notice the white guys, and particularly very often, uh, actually, actually, the guys. Very often, particularly though, specifically the white guys for a certain reason. You notice they always get emasculated in like every single commercial. So check this out, okay? This one right here, the wind is blowing over the food or whatever. The woman is unscathed. Look who's getting like hit and screwed up. It's actually the the guy, right? And then this guy, here's another guy just acting stupid. Very effeminate looking guy too, you know, total hippie. But here he is acting stupid. He falls off the hammock, right? Oh no, the basketball got stuck. Oh, here's this guy getting splashed, okay? Literally, I watched this whole ad and it's just a bunch of men like getting emasculated, looking weak, looking stupid, whatever it is, getting made fun of. And perhaps in a bubble, it's like, okay, who cares, Vince? You're making too big of a deal out of this. They're just trying to be funny or quirky or silly. I understand that. I understand that. But when you're a brand who, you know, just came off this whole scandal where you pissed off a bunch of dudes, specifically, you pissed off a bunch of men, this is not what you need to be doing, right? You, like, okay, their, their recovery ad where they tried to do the whole America thing with the, you know, the horses and all that it was like it was it was insincere as you could tell it's very insincere but at least it worked at least they knew who they were trying to get back demographically speaking here i just see a bunch of dudes act like getting punked like they're just getting they're being stupid but we well, let's let's go through here more frame by frame here's another dude oh no i spilled on myself aha i'm so quirky okay and again you know oh, well, i can barely hold it guys take it take it Right? Oh wow, I've made it now into the hammock. Okay, whoa, wow, so good. And an easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light's not very easy to drink, by the way. It's disgusting. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. It, it not only like obviously we're, we're, they could do anything at this point unless they go full scale and say it was all wrong. We disavow Dylan Mulvaney. We disavow all this ideology, which they're never going to do. Then Bud Light will never be forgiven. OK, and we understand that. But I am actually shocked at the level of incompetence in that ad because 
it, you know, I, I would think every ad, if I were Bud Light, every ad I'd be doing from here on out is going to be masculine, America, bald eagles, AR-15s, freaking all this stuff, right? I'm going to do everything. And here in this ad, all I see, and again, this is not just a Bud Light thing. You, you, most commercials you see in corporate advertising nowadays, you'll see men getting emasculated. You'll see men looking stupid. You'll see the feminism the, implicitly. Even if there's no political message directly, very often you will see it. But uh, for Bud Light to be doing that now after, you know, they're trying to recover their brand and they think this is going to be the answer going into the summer. Absolutely not. I think it's going to be uh, another summer of loss for Bud Light and and. I mean, they, they need to just pack it up at this point, to tell you the truth. The brand's been dying for a long time, which the VP admitted, the marketing girl admitted. Uh, you know, it's, it's just not going to come back. And, and it's, it, it, they keep on just blundering. I don't know how it's possible. It's phenomenal. But... Uh... Hey, guys, Vince Dow here. Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Vince Dow show. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And be sure to check out the Vince Dow show live every weeknight here on this channel at 8 p.m. Eastern time. It is a great show. Many are saying this. Many are saying this. So leave a like, check out our other, uh, our other clips and be sure to check out the show. Yeah. God bless.